everyone. I hope you're doing great. I am back with Virgo's reading um, for the nods changing places. It's a little bright. I'm going to make it nice and fair there. That's good. So I'm doing um, Virgo's reading for the nods changing places from Scorpio and Taurus access into Aries and Libra's access. And the nods again is about karma, is about how we're going to move forward in the future, okay? The nods are really important in Vedic astrology. They are Rahu and Ketu, okay? So these nods really let us know what are our life destiny, what are things that we need to work on, what are situations that we're going to bump into, okay? So in Vedic astrology, they are very important placements. In Western astrology, it isn't the same, okay? But we do know that they have something to do with karma and something to do with the future, okay? And the energies that they give out is, this time being an Aries and Libra, is be passionate, but at the same time be balanced, okay? It's not about just you, it's about the whole. So you're going to be looking at every situation and how you, you know, can move forward with making a peace with everyone, right? And being peaceful and not coming from a place of selfishness, more like it, okay? Because... In Taurus and Scorpio, we have when um, the axis was there, it's more about me. What, be what is best for me, okay? Even at the cost of hurting others, which is no good, okay? Now, if you're a balanced Scorpio and you're a balanced um, Taurus, you know that high vibration means you're going to do things that are fair, you know, and you're going to be truthful. And you're going to be honest with how you feel. And at the same time, you're going to move forward in an honest way without being manipulative, without being obsessive. Okay, so this is where we're going into now with the nods changing places is being honest, being balanced and looking at the situation as a whole and seeing ourselves for where did I go wrong? What am I doing wrong and how to change myself so that I can have better energy within my life? Okay, by the way, I wanted to say that Right now, um, Saturn is squaring Mars. Mars is squaring Saturn. This is like a battle of wits, right? A battle of who is the strongest and a battle of what needs to be done, okay? So Mars, we know, is a feisty, fiery planet and sometimes can be quite selfish. Mars can be the planet of I want it at all costs, while Saturn is the planet of let me move balance. Let me be fair. Let me look at each situation and see what best, best suits the whole. Okay, so we have the nods changing plans, um, changing signs, and now Saturn squaring Mars, which has been ongoing. Okay, but the, the, the theme here, the main theme here is being balanced. Okay, and coming in balance in your life and being fair. Okay. So let's begin with your overall energy with the nods changing places today. The energy is already there. I can feel it. Cardinal signs are going to feel it more than, you know, any other than mutable signs or fixed signs. They're just going to, cardinal signs are going to feel it, okay? And they're going to see the changes. And they're, I feel like it's going to be more positive than negative. And as we know, life has its ups and downs, okay? So whether it is that they're focused on the cardinal signs doesn't mean that everything's going to go perfect. just means that things are going to be a little bit more balanced, okay? So let's see your overall energy, Virgo. Your overall energy is temperance. So what it's telling me here as the nods are changing places is things are going to happen for you. Things are going to be balanced again, but things are going to take time. And why do situations take time? Sometimes situations take time because we are not letting go of something or we're not letting go of doing things a certain way or maybe we're doing things in our own lives that are causing kind of that are causing delays, okay? So, temperance is here to tell you it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of balancing out in your own life and in situations, okay? And the first card that I got for you is the, five, is the Five of Orbs, okay? The Five of Orbs is the Five of Swords. This is feeling like defeated or feeling like other people are against you or feeling like someone in your team is not being honest, whether it be with work, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a situationship, okay? So I feel like somewhere along the line, you're feeling left out. You're not feeling like everyone's playing fair, okay? And you're not seeing or you're feeling like someone is being dishonest or not being truthful in a certain situation, okay? I see the five of crystals, so be careful. Be careful with someone spreading rumors about you or saying things that are not true 
or leaving you out in the cold and not being honest, okay? So be careful with that. That is probably a situation you're going to have to leave behind or it's going to lead into this new changing of nods and you're going to become more aware of it, okay? I see the eight of flames here. The eight of flames is a lot of things happening in your life, okay? And sometimes a lot of arguments, a lot of disagreements, a lot of not knowing which way to go, okay? Because the circular has different points, and it seems like the, all the points want to go in a different direction, right? So, so I feel in your life, you feel like things are not that stable quite yet, and you don't find that footing or that stability, and you feel at the same time that someone is not being honest, Okay? There will be a lot of communication going on, and some of it may be arguments, okay? The moon card is here to let you know that there are things that are in the background happening. There are things that you not, you're not aware of, okay? But the moon card is to, here to let you know that you are going to become aware of it. Nothing stays hidden in the dark for long. The light of the moon shows you the path, shows you the truth, okay? So this is why this card is here, all right? You also got the shadows. Whether it be you or another person, don't be in the shadows. Don't play with the shadows. Don't create webs of lies. Don't create webs of manipulation. Now, this could be a situation you're dealing with or a person or it could be someone around you that you are distrustful. Listen to your intuition, okay? Listen to what is guiding you to. And, and see, because sometimes the universe shows us cues and clues of what's happening around you. And you have to be open to see it. If you're in a low vibrational energy, you won't be open to seeing it because you built, you'll be too self-consumed of wanting things your way and being in the ego. So get out of that situation ship. Get out of being that way and get out of that energy. And don't do anything in the shadows. Be honest and truthful when you move forward. Even if people are not honest and truthful with you, you're going to find out what's happening, okay? We got the seven of crystals. The seven of crystals is the seven of pentacles. Looking at something very carefully and seeing if you want to build with, with this. Seeing if this is going to be somewhere you want to grow. Seeing if this person, situation is the person you want to grow with, the situation you want to grow with, the job you want to take. This is really evaluating and looking at things carefully, okay? We got the chariot. There will be movement forward. This chariot is horses moving forward very quickly. As you can see, we have a Hindu god there, okay? And I forget his name, okay? But we do have a Hindu god here. And this Hindu god, he's very straightforward, okay? He, when he decides on something, he moves forward on it, okay? So this is movement forward in the right direction, okay? Okay? And I see that once you make movement forward in the right direction, you got the six of crystals, crystals, the six of pentacles. Things will balance themselves out for you, okay? Once you start to see the truth for what it is and once you start being pointed out who is the one who's being a liar, who is playing in the shadows and not being honest, who's causing a web of lies, okay? You're going to move forward and things are going to be balanced out for you, okay? So that is your general reading for this time period, Okay? Now I have a card that I pulled out from Archangel Michael's deck because I love his deck because it really points out to things that we need to look at within ourselves or situations that are going to be happening. It says, honor and trust your feelings. It says, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love, Okay. Anytime you do something or you find out something negative, do not fight, do not argue, don't bring yourself into those low vibrational energy, but do put boundaries up and do explain to persons why you're doing that, okay? And be clear and concise with people without fighting, without arguing. You don't need to fight and argue to get a point across, okay? So that is your reading, Virgo. I hope it resonated with you. Have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. And remember, Mars and Saturn is squaring the nods are moving places axis so things may be kind of volatile right now but that's for us to be enlightened about what's going on in situations love and light speak to you soon bye-bye